Right in this video, we are going to take a look at using the greater than and less than clause of the where operators. Take a look at the salaries table. And this is going to give us a good opportunity to go ahead and run some values. And let's do And I'm just going to pick a value here. We'll grab this, this one here. And we can see that we're getting back at the result set. I'm going to copy over and get a count. See that we do have quite a, quite a few of them in there. And if I just do, let's go to original count here. It's actually a lot of records in that salaries table. So yeah, this one cut us down by almost half half the values. And again, that, that's saying where it's greater than that. I can also come back and say, change that to less than. So where the salary is less than that value. Let me get rid of that extra space in there. I'll go ahead and run that guy. And you can see that we've got a different count value back, so I'm not going to go back and justify that, but you can see how this is working there. And you, you can also, let's come back here and take a, so that these can also be joined where we can say, I'm going to put in a date value here. About a million, one million the records there, roughly. So you can see that having that from date clause in there did did change it by you know, about 50,000 records or so. So that, that's how you work with the, the date value. So this works really well. The, the greater than, less than works really well on these properties. But if you use greater than and less than, let's take a look at employees. So you could do you do things like greater than one, like so, and yet you're not going to get back consistent results. Now you could say greater than Sam, like so, and that now you're going to get back uh, weird results because what what's happening is SQL or MySQL is going to be doing a comparison under the covers based on the string and the character set, and it's some really weird math that's occurring underneath it. And you can see I said greater than Sam, and I, I'm getting a bunch of records back, but SQL is doing some some type of weird math underneath the covers, and you're not going to get really consistent results. So greater than, less than, without using a, a function on a string value is not going to make a lot of sense for you. So you're typically going to be using greater than, less than on numeric values and date values. That allows you to, to specify uh, criteria for that. For strings, there's other functions that we want to be using on, on string values like this. So I've never had a use case to use greater than or less than on a string value. You can use that in conjunction with functions. And there's functions inside the database to count the length of a string. So that's where you might want to use a greater than, less than to find all names with greater than five characters. So that is an option that you can use. But generally, I'd shy away from trying to use greater than, less than on string values.